Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for March 31st, 2020, the last day of March, when what a March it has been. So how about we get ourselves all settled in here and let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the morning market prep video. So yesterday we had a lot of hopeful news. We had news of a new test kit that can deliver um, uh, coronavirus results within five minutes. Great advancement. We heard that J&J &J is moving forward with some testing of a possible vaccine for the coronavirus. We heard that they had begun some clinical trials of potential treatments for the virus. All of that was well and good and helped uh, to lift the spirits of the market yesterday, rallying right into the close, up about 700 points here on the Dow. But interestingly enough, we still have a long way to go before we um, actually see some of these advancements actually reach uh, the marketplace and provide some help. So one of the things I want to point out today is it's real easy at this point in time of a, of a market rally to get caught up in the fear of missing out. Um, that fear of missing out gets in the way and we start pressing and hoping and wishing and wanting that uh, that move to continue to go up and we get caught up in that and chase into this rally. Now let's keep in mind if I were to measure from yesterday's high down to the low of the market, we've already rallied 18% here in the diamonds. That's an 18% rally, which means any stop loss that we place on this and the volatility that we see in this market puts us in a pretty dangerous position if we chase into this move. Now, while it is really wonderful that we rallied up here held that 2018 low and are actually starting to show a little bit of a consolidation here, a little bit of a resting. We just have to remember that the, the virus numbers continue to rise. If you heard the mayor of New York saying they're going to need triple the hospital capacity by May, remember that the president has extended the social distancing um, to the end of April, and we have more and more uh, states shutting down um, creating, well, really putting um, severe pressure on some of our big, biggest cities in the nation um, under extreme pressure um, as we continue to battle this situation. So one of the things I want to guard everyone against is being really careful of not chasing in and remembering we still have a long road to recovery here. Um, so watch that pretty carefully um, as you move forward. And remember, we have a big week of economic data that's going to include some pretty shocking and likely historic um, uh, jobs numbers um, and employment numbers that uh, could shake up the market here a little bit. So having rallied so much in such a short period of time, be really careful not to rush in or have that fear of missing out. There will be uh, more opportunity in this market. Uh, trust me on that. Um, I don't expect this to be a V-bottom rally. I would expect probably more aftershocks to create some more selling here before too long. So I could be wrong, but I would rather protect your capital than to give you false encouragement racing in and and risking um, another potential downside move because we've we've moved up so strongly so quickly let's take a look at um some moving averages here and you can see holding up here we have had we've got the 50-day moving average it has crossed down below its 200 day and in the next day or so we'll be crossing down its 500 day our shorter term averages are diving down pretty substantially so we could find some additional price resistance in there and if we do find that ability to rally keep in mind we've got lots of resistance levels in the chart here 
that could still provide those stumbling blocks. So be careful about that and, and don't rule out the possibility of a potential swing lower as we start getting some of these data points. Remember, we still have earnings just a couple of weeks away. Second quarter earnings are gonna kick off and I don't think too many people are expecting that to be all that spectacular with um, more and more people even uh, talking about the possibility of recession. So let's take a look at the SPY here real quickly, SPY. Also holding up very well yesterday, rallying nicely. And once again, just a just a little reminder, if we measure from here down, that is a almost a 17% rally from the low. And so we want to be careful of that, um, careful of chasing into that. Now, while this is a beautiful move up, and I love the fact that we're pushed up here above this res um, really kind of key level here in the market, holding some of that support level that is a good sign but now we need to prove that that's actually going to hold a support so what we need is we need to see that full on active test can we push this back down and then bounce off of that that's what we need to see we don't want to chase into this why we're still moving straight up if we get that active test where we get that full pullback and we bounce off of this or hold this as a consolidation you know awesome that's what we want to see but we want to be really careful until we see some of those active tests in here on that market because it is that possibility that we could swing and come right back down let's take a look at our uh, moving averages on this chart notice that our 50-day moving average is now crossing down its 200-day moving average got a ways to go before it actually reaches that 500 and let's keep in mind, we have significant price resistance in the chart right in here that we're going to have to keep an eye on. So watch that closely. Um, let's take a look at the Qs. Now the Qs did a great job yesterday rallying up and breaking back up into this level of support. Now that's a really important level to break back through nice to see that occur and what's more important on the technical side is we actually held our 500 day moving average so that's a good sign in the market could we have a rally in the nasdaq that runs us back up here to the 200 and i think yes that is certainly possible but one of the things again i want to caution everyone on and chasing is that if we measure from our high to our low we have had a rally here of nearly 15% um, in the SPY and we need that proof that we can actually once claiming this level of support proof that we can hold it and bounce up off of there I don't want to see people racing into this just feeling like oh my gosh I'm missing out and then we get that wave lower um, that moves us back down so be uh, pretty careful pretty cautious right now Dow futures are down 59 points now they've been positive this morning as a matter of fact when I woke up this morning Morning at 5 a.m. they were up 100 points so we're still fluctuating around it's been a very volatile uh, night so anything is still possible here today and they're continuing to fall at the moment we're now down 74 points in the Dow future so a lot of fluctuation here in the market that's why we have to be careful and remember not to chase in or not to get ourselves caught up in overconfidence um, that we're just gonna zoom back higher because uh, we got a long ways to go on the path to recovery from this virus. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM rallied yesterday, but I got to tell you, it was kind of a um, half-hearted attempt. It just really couldn't get things going, um, so to speak, um, yesterday. And so let's watch this area right in here, still serving as price resistance was a nice try yesterday but just didn't quite make enough um, um, energy in there to really get going so let's watch that um, also in case of that potential of a pullback to test some support levels in the chart let's take a look at the VIX now this to me is really interesting uh, we, we rallied 
uh, you know, 700 points in the Dow yesterday. And although we do have a bearish candle here yesterday, I just got to tell you, I'm pretty darn surprised that we're holding up this strongly in the VIX, that we're not with such a big move, 20, nearly 20% 20 in the Dow um, in that move up that we haven't had a more of a pullback in fear. That could be a warning sign and something we want to really watch carefully. Now, if we take a look at some support and resistance levels, we have some support right in here. So a pullback into here would be nice to see. That would require a bit more rally in the market. But as of right now, we're kind of floating out here in midair between a resistance level that we know is a, a record resistance level and a, um, a support level in here that is still really high, making those options extremely expensive. Bid ask spend, spreads are wide and open interest by and large is still quite small. So be really careful if you're an option trader. But we've got a lot of work here yet to do on the VIX before we really start calming down this market and putting us um, into, uh, well, a little bit more stable market condition. So watch that carefully. Let's take a look at T2122. Now, T2122 is the four week new high, new low ratio. And it is just absolutely wonderful to see us finally crawl out of the ocean floor here and get a little lift. In, in the market. But let's notice we've rallied up pretty quickly and pretty sharply. Doesn't mean we can't go higher, but if I were to kind of uh, draw a downtrend line here um, in that chart, we're reaching that point where we want to be a little bit cautious and careful that of that possibility um, that we've just stretched too far too fast and we need a little consolidation possibly or a pullback um, in that to confirm some of these support levels that we've broken through. So just keep that in mind. Um, nothing here giving us direction but something that we should pay attention to and as I speak Dow futures are now uh, down 58 points so a lot of fluctuation here in this market this morning quite a little bit of uncertainty as to what we what happens next let's take a look at um, our economic calendar and our economic calendar has a few things that we want to be paying attention to here today um, and through the rest of this week it could be really intense on the economic calendar side first off we have s p core logic and Chicago PMI. They can certainly move the market around. And remember, we've got fewer earnings right now because we're kind of winding down first quarter earnings before we um, launch into second quarter earnings. And most of the earnings that we have are, are um, uh, not not really big market movers. We do have some notables today that we'll talk about. But we're going to be pretty focused on some of this economic data. And the biggest one of today is going to be that consumer confidence. Will consumer confidence be shaken uh, by uh, the virus, the shutdown, and everything that's going on? We'll want to watch that pretty darn closely. And I have to imagine that even with um, the promise of money coming from the government on this with um, 3.2 million people um, applying for unemployment coverage, I can't imagine confidence and spending is going to be um, super high. So could be surprised by that, but we'll want to watch that pretty closely. And maybe the, maybe the virus numbers haven't really trickled into this yet, but we'll want to watch that pretty close. And then as we go forward, we start hitting these jobs numbers wow anything is possible so be careful plan your risk very carefully and keep in mind all of this data um, could have some shocking effects um, on the price of the market so watch that close so with that everyone let's take a look at some of the stocks that could be reporting that will be reporting today 
um, in, and some notables in those earnings reports. First off, MKC. MKC is a consumer defensive stock, uh, McCormick, uh, it's our seasoning company out there. Rallying back up yesterday, Friday, really, I mean, yesterday, not Friday, Monday, really strongly up to its 500 day moving average, slamming into that, it's 34 EMA, running into that um, as a possible resistance. Now, this morning, as you can see, we're looking um, at a little bit of a move down. The bid ask spread is still really wide, and it's possible this is not reported yet. Bid ask spread is really wide, but it looks like we're moving back down here just a little bit this morning, and that could just be a function of the overall market pushing just a little bit lower. So keep an eye on MKC. Defensive sector stock, good dividend payer, certainly not within uh, a good buying condition, at least at the moment. We have BlackBerry reporting today. Today. Now, BlackBerry, once again, has rallied up nicely. We really haven't had a test of support yet, and it's reporting its earnings this morning, and you can see we're catching a little bit of a gap up here on BlackBerry, but not exactly what I would consider to be a big market mover uh, nowadays. Um, ConAgra is also reporting today, one of our food companies out there, getting a nice little move here up this morning. Um, um, on that stock could be approaching its 50 day moving average. Notice our 50 is diving down here toward that resistance. And overall, we are still within a downtrend here on ConAgra. So be kind of careful here. Not exactly something that's going to move the market around a bunch, but something you want to pay attention to. And then FLR, FLR also reporting today. Looks like it's catching a little tiny move up here this morning. Can't say that it's reported, but it's trying to lift just slightly here so we'll want to watch that closely as those report um and not too many notables as you can see and we're kind of really starting to calm down on uh this first quarter earnings reports as we start uh ramping up here in the next couple of weeks heading into second quarter earnings let's take a look at um, a few stocks that could be setting up but before we do that if you guys don't mind if you could do me a favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could click that subscribe button on youtube and then click that thumbs up button to make sure you're notified every time i post one of these videos i certainly do appreciate that and hopefully you see that these videos are just a little bit different no hype no prediction as to which way the market's going to go really looking at the technicals and the details that may affect the market and how you may want to approach the market for the day if you find that to be helpful if you could please do me a favor click those thumbs up buttons and leave a brief comment we're pushing up toward that 10,000 subscriber mark thank you to everyone who helps out with that those thumbs up and and um, and those uh, brief comments it helps a lot in continuing to grow the channel you guys are awesome thank you very much it makes me feel good to to know that it's appreciated and that the effort is worthwhile so thank you very much for for doing that you guys are great so with that, let's take a look at some things that we might want to keep an eye on, some stocks that could be setting up. And I got to tell you, it's really difficult for me to offer up any really great trade ideas right now in this market because of the danger that um, presents itself due to the volatility. But I'm going to bring up a few. Um, Starbucks. Starbucks uh, moving up nicely here, as you can see, moved up and regained this support. Now, what's going to be critical in here is the same as the markets. Um, after such a strong move up, we want to make sure that we can prove support holding in here so possibly a little bit of consolidation out here is what is needed now keep in mind that if you draw a downtrend here we have broken that downtrend if you draw the downtrend up here we still have some work to do in this chart but a nice little pattern in here something to keep an eye on but don't be too surprised if this has to rest a little bit more out here before we actually find the legs of our trend and also, if we get more shock waves with joblessness and things like that in the market, we want to make sure if we're going to trade trades like this to make sure and have stop losses set in critical places 
in just in case that slips and goes south so you'll want to watch those things carefully um, starbucks is certainly um, one of those uh, big old stable companies it's a consumer cyclical i don't expect people to stop drinking coffee um, <laughs> in any way shape or form so it may hold up better than other companies and one that you want to keep an eye on if it does start to improve so watch this one carefully there may be some opportunity here take a look at um, an, a, another place that I'm kind of surprised it's sold off so strongly here but Kroger is now trying to pick back up just a little bit now I can't tell you for sure if this is going to fail here and move on lower or whether or not we're actually going to hold this level of support in here if we can hold that level of support then there may be some more upside in here obviously we're going to continue to need groceries and um, Kroger could be a place to look and it's a good dividend payer um, and it could pick up even if the market shifts lower if the market shifts lower it's those defensive sector stocks that will be those stocks that pick up and hold so you want to watch those um, another stock that I've been keeping pretty close eye on and was really close to just buying some of the stock I don't want to buy the options the options are very expensive and um, high implied volatility which means I have to trade them in a real short time frame to make them useful and uh, I'm thinking about um, maybe picking up some coca-cola I don't expect coke to go away and I kind of expect coke to stick around forever and ever and coke moving up here breaking this downtrend trying to hold a little bit of price support in this chart had a nice little move yesterday now one of the things I don't want to chase this move I want um, uh, fully expect that there's going to be more pullback and more damage technical damage in this chart you can see our 50 is getting ready to cross down our 200 here but if this can kind of consolidate and rest out here this way I want a little bit more rest I want a little bit more stability showing up in here and then I might consider picking up a position in coca-cola so just a few of those defensive sector stocks I'm not going to get too crazy about um, rushing in because I do think there is um, more shock waves to come in the market um, with the jobs data that we're going to see so be very very careful plan your risk very carefully as we move forward and by the way as as, um, as I've been speaking, Dow futures have continued to move sharply lower. We are now down 150 points in the Dow uh, futures. So lots of back and forth, lots of danger in this market. So if you do decide to trade, plan your risk very, very carefully and be careful not to get caught up in the news or the drama rushing into trades. Everyone, I want to wish you all the very, very best. Take care yourselves and we'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning. Have a good one everyone.